Have you ever wished you could create vibrant, colorful engravings on stainless steel or tackle detailed designs on multiple materials, all with one compact, easy to use machine? Today, I'm reviewing the Commarker B6 JPT 60 watt MOPA fiber laser engraver. We're gonna look at what it does well, where it falls short, and whether it's worth the investment. First, let's talk about size, because not everyone has room for a giant industrial size engraver. Fiber laser engravers can be bulky, taking up space and weighing enough to make moving them around a workout. The Commarker B6 at around 13.5 kilograms or 30 pounds is lighter than most, making it much easier to move around your workspace or even take it with you to vendor fairs or pop-up shops. But let's be real, 30 pounds is still not featherweight. If you're expecting to toss this in a bag and go, you might want to rethink. That said, compared to larger fiber lasers, it's a huge improvement in portability. In terms of size, it's compact enough to fit on smaller workbenches without dominating your workspace. For me, that was a big plus. It's practical for a home workshop or a small business setup. The B6 can also be set up as a split unit. The work area and laser head can be separated from the control box by removing these four bolts, or they can be combined into a single unit like I have it set up here. It's not the lightest thing ever, but it's manageable and far more portable than most fiber lasers. If space or portability is a priority for you, the B6 definitely delivers in that department. But portability is only one part of the equation. Let's see how well it handles precision. If you've ever struggled with manually focusing a fiber laser, you know how frustrating it can be. Focusing a fiber laser is one of my least favorite parts of the engraving process. Those red dots that you're supposed to align just right, they're tedious to use and it's easy to mess up, especially if you're switching between materials with different thicknesses or irregular surfaces. And fiber lasers really need the focus to be dialed in or you will not get good results. The autofocus on the B6 though is a game changer. You place your material on the workspace, press the autofocus button, and the machine takes care of the rest. No guessing, no fumbling with measuring sticks. It's quick and precise. The only small quirk is that the autofocus uses this red dot laser here, which is not in the center of the work area. So you have to put your material down in this spot, hit the autofocus button, and wait for it to focus. Then you move your material to wherever you need it on the work plate. And does it always work perfectly? Not quite. I've had it throw an error on occasion, but overall, it's much faster and more reliable than manual focusing. Plus, it's consistent, which is key to ensure you get high quality engraving every time. Manual focus drives you crazy. You'll love this feature. It's not perfect, but it's reliable enough to save you time and frustration. Now, let's talk about how fast this machine can actually work. How much time do you spend waiting for your designs to engrave? Would you like to spend less time waiting? Speed is where the B6 claims to really shine. It offers engraving speeds of up to 15,000 millimeters per second, but the top end speed of the machine isn't the full story. In practice, the speed you can get with a Galvo fiber laser translates to real productivity gains. For example, I engraved the little Captain America tag from the thumbnail in full color, and the B6 finished it in five minutes and three seconds. And don't worry, we're gonna dive into the color marking aspects soon. This photo test file from Commarker was made on an anodized business card, and it only took two minutes and 57 seconds. That said, if you're trying to deeply engrave on metal or cutting through thin metal stock, you will need to dial the speed back to get the results you want. The laser is fast and precise, but there's always a balance between speed and detail when you're pushing any machine to its max. For example, the brass coin I'm engraving here took one and a half hours and I wasn't even using the highest resolution settings. If I had done that, it would have taken around three hours for a single side of the coin. Stick around if you wanna learn more about brass coin engraving because I have a resource to share with you later. For now, I'll put my settings on the screen so you can see. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to copy these down. I also forgot to turn on the cleanup pass and light burn, so I added a second pass that I ran to do some cleanup after the deep engrave was finished. Not ideal, but it's better than nothing. So the B6 is fast and it's been reliable for me so far. Just keep in mind that for deep metal engraving, slower speeds will still be your best bet. Now, let's talk software, because speed and precision don't mean much if the software is a nightmare. Ever been worried about being stuck with clunky proprietary software on your laser engraver? Well, you should be, because there are some laser manufacturers that force you into using their proprietary software to get the most out of their lasers. These companies claim compatibility with the most popular laser control software, but in reality, it doesn't work, or it only partially works with the laser. One of the standout features of the B6 is its compatibility with Lightburn. If you've ever used Lightburn, you already know how great it is. It's my go-to software for a reason. It's intuitive, versatile, and has all the design tools you could want for laser engraving. 
But here's the thing, light burn isn't free. So if you're just starting out, you'll need to factor that cost into your decision. And in order to control the B6, you will need the pro version of the light burn software. On the flip side, it's well worth the investment if you want an easy, powerful way to control your laser. Plus, Lightburn comes with a 30-day trial that gives you full functionality to test it out before you decide if you want to buy it. The software option is a strong point for the B6, especially if you're a fan of Lightburn. But what really takes this machine to the next level is its material versatility. What if one machine can handle multiple metals and even stone? The B6 is incredibly versatile when it comes to materials. I tested it on brass, slate, anodized aluminum, and stainless steel, and the results were consistent across the board. And wait till you see how the stainless steel turned out. Switching between materials is also straightforward thanks to the autofocus and easy adjustments in the software. That said, there are limits. For larger or irregularly shaped items, the small workspace might feel restrictive. The B6 comes with a lens that gives you a 150 by 150 millimeter area of working space. You can also purchase lenses that will increase the working area up to 300 by 300 millimeters. An important note is that it doesn't work on wood or clear acrylic. If you want to engrave those materials, you will need a diode or CO2 laser. And if you want to cut clear acrylic, you'll need a CO2 laser. The B6 is also capable of engraving, engraving leather but I don't have any leather here for testing, so I can't speak to how well it works. B6 is great for small to medium sized projects across a variety of materials. It's not a one size fits all machine, but it handles many materials. And what about that stainless steel I mentioned? How well does the B6 perform when it comes to color marking on stainless steel? The B6's ability to engrave colors is thanks to its MOPA technology, which allows for precise control over pulse duration and frequency. This is what makes those vibrant blues, purples, and golds on stainless steel possible. And more importantly, it makes them repeatable. When doing color marking with non-MOPA fibers or diode lasers, it's possible to get colors, but the repeatability is lacking. I tested this feature with a stainless steel tag, engraving a small Captain America cartoon figure, and the colors were consistent. And you can repeat this over and over again, unlike on non-MOPA lasers. But here's the catch. Getting these results takes practice. You'll need to experiment with settings like power, pulse frequency, and line interval to get the exact colors you want. It's not necessarily a beginner-friendly feature, but if you're willing to put in the time, the results are stunning. Plus, once you dial in the settings, the machine is consistent, making it perfect for custom designs. That being said, the machine does come with this test file of Captain America, and the ComMarker website has a section with settings for different colors in stainless steel. That will allow you to get started experimenting with color without the need to reinvent the wheel. And the website has settings for a variety of materials, not just stainless steel, so it's a great resource if you're just getting started. As you can see on the screen, there are multiple layers in this light burn file with different settings to achieve the colors. I'll show you a couple of them here so you can get an idea for the red, blue, and flesh color. Wow, that sounds weird to say. Flesh color from a laser. Anyway, Color marking is a standout feature of the B6, but it's not 100% plug and play. Be prepared to invest time in testing and tweaking to unlock its full potential. The ComMarker B6 MOPA Fiber Laser Engraver is a versatile, compact machine with some impressive features like autofocus, high speeds, and the ability to engrave vibrant colors. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of a learning curve with the colors and its size limits what you can work on, but for small businesses, makers, and hobbyists, it offers a lot of value. I've got a link in the description if you want to learn more about the B6. And go check out my video here on doing easy brass coin engravings with a fiber laser. Thanks for watching.